Hello and welcome to Let's Play Mega Maker. My name is Joe and I'm gonna try a new level from my queue list, uh, from the list uh, where you where your submitted levels are. And actually, your list is I mean that list is really long right now. So I have uh, many many levels to play. And, uh, by it's about 16, so that's a lot. So I need to play them sooner or later. So the first level I'm gonna play is Seven Robot Masters by Insanity to Fever. Let's see. So this this uh, this uh, this level is basically. You can choose from seven robot masters to fight. You need to beat one of them. I don't know if I will be. I, I will do all of them, or maybe I will do just one of them. Okay, so the first one is Cutman. It shouldn't be a big problem. However, oh, I only have the Mega Buster, and I can't even charge. Okay, that can be a challenge. I will see that soon. You piece of crap. Okay, <laughs> what did I say? Pretty annoying. Catman just killed me. That's a shame. Oh, come on. This is not so good, actually. I'm not in a good situation. But if I beat him, that's it, I think. Because unfortunately, Mega Maker doesn't support multiple bosses. Mm. Mm, that's not good at all. Okay. Yeah, the charge shot, it's not that easy for me at least, I mean... I can easily beat a Cutman in, in the original Mega Man game, I don't know what's my problem here. Cutman is actually an easy boss. There is even a knockback, which is not so usual. Kinda want him to see in a bottomless pit. Fuck! <laughs> Catman is cutting my throat. I almost said something else, but I didn't want to go that far. Okay, jump! A piece of crap! I'm gonna cut your dick with your cutter. Why is it not so easy? What am I doing wrong? I don't know, actually. I mean, I'm definitely not doing this right. <sighs> Pieces of crap. Okay, it's time to get serious, I guess. Huh? I don't know. Oh, come on. I'm playing really badly against him. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna adjust the recording volume a little bit. Okay, it's dumb. Oh, okay. Well, I am fine with it. With an accident. It would be a shame if I wouldn't be able to beat any of them. <laughs> No, it can't happen, right? Okay, I think I think I got this. Oops, one mistake. Metal blades aren't even that destructive. But I am doing the same mistakes over again. I completely forgot that I have sliding. I mean, didn't even try it out yet. So that was a dumb mistake. 
Oops. I, I said I got this right. So I should, uh, mm, you know, not fail this. Ah, oh, one. I'm, I'm not impressed by my skills right now. That's really bad. Okay, let's try it again. And I'm gonna start with Cutman this time. I mean, it's not starting with Cutman because unfortunately I cannot fight the others in one game. That sucks because I wish that was a feature in in this game. I wonder what 1.1 uh, will have. I mean, that will come out in literally in a few hours, I guess. Boom, that sucks. Uh, so they promised it. I think for the next day. I don't know where, what time zone they are in actually, so I, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about the ex exact release date or time. Because. But I'm really excited about uh, Mega Man or Mega Maker uh, 1.1. That that will be a huge update probably. I hate you, Catman. I'm gonna cut your dick. Okay, let's see number three then. Oh, okay. It's funny because of the. Oh shit! I, I... Oh no 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 no! This is not that good. Now the challenges here, environment, can be a little bit tricky. At some of the fights at least. Oh, go away you son of a... Ah, really? Also, I am creating a level uh, since so long ago. And, uh, I mean, I didn't touch it since a few weeks. Um, I'm not happy about everything with this level, and also I'm waiting from for 1.1 for multiple reasons. One of them is I want to add multiple features to this level, uh, which I hopefully will get. Which I hopefully will get in um, 1.1. But the most important thing is the performance and the minimap in in the editor that will be helpful because my level is pretty pretty complex. Uh, it, it's a huge level, and also the loading time should be a lot better. To be honest, because it takes a long. To load that level. Ah, oh, come on. I need to stop for a moment when he is attacking, especially from that side. The conveyor belt is definitely something that makes it a bit harder and than it would be normally. Yeah, I made a mistake, but somehow I survived that attack. Okay, and that was top man. Looks like still Catman is the worst, but let, let's see number four. Number four. Wait, what is? Oh, this is number four. Pharaoh. Um. Hi. Anyone home? Really? I'm gonna. Take a look, another look. Okay, so the level creator forgot to 
put a boss there, I guess. That happens sometimes. Okay. Napalm man. That will be fun. Okay, it won't be fun, I see. <laughs> Uh, we will see that though, because maybe it won't be that bad. But again, a little bit tricky because of the um, environment and uh, the level layout. The room layout to be exact. So, I'm making a big adventure map and... Uh, you need to get some E-Tanks to be able to proceed to the final part of the level. And it's really like an adventure, so... Detailed level with some secrets and stuff. But it's not completed yet. Ah, okay. That wasn't that bad, again. In comparison with the... With the uh, with Cutman, this is again. It was a lot easier. I don't know why Cutman causes that much trouble for me. What? So that was number five, right? And now number six. Uh, one of the number sixes because looks like there are not two number sixes. It sounds weird. There are definitely some problems with this level, sadly. This fight is really easy. I just have to, have to repeat the same thing. Okay, now maybe it will change a little bit, but it's still the same challenge. At the hardest level layout, especially against this boss, Nightman stands no chance. Whoa! I would have been a little bit pissed if uh, Nightman would have glitched out of the walls or something. Especially when he had 1 HP, so it would be a little bit... Mm. Alright, the next one. Uh, I think I'm gonna fight... And the other number 6. Ooh, okay. Well, this will be interesting. Crashman, right? Okay, I won. Actually, I said nothing about the... Uh, glitching outside of the level because that happened and I won. So that's actually a really good, a really good uh, thing to happen. Mm. Uh, this this is this is not that good. I have a feeling that uh, the level, uh, the room layout in Mega Man One is actually easier than this. But actually the game physics are really different. If I remember correctly in Mega Man 1 you are really uh, slippery. I didn't play these class games that much to be honest but I, th I think that was uh, the physics of that game was really tricky uh, compared to this where you instantly stop and move so it was almost like ice physics. Sorry if I'm wrong about that, but that's how I feel and how I remember. Come on, son of a cut! Okay, that was stupid. Ah, I'm gonna cut your anus. Really? You little piece of crap. Hmm. Not easy. Too bad that the uh, invincibility frame of this, this guy is long. I mean, I think it's the same for the, all the bosses, but in this case, it's really annoying. Ah, come on. You are cheap. <laughs> that was nice, actually. Ah, 
come on. I'm so close. This is the hardest Cutman fight I've ever fought, actually. I think it was the easiest in Mega Man X8. And you know, that was there was that hidden Cutman fight. And again, I died with... 1 HP for Cutman. 1 fucking HP? I would have been able, uh, happier with the double kill, but... You know, and I would have been like, you know, I won, which is not true, but I think a double kill would have been more acceptable than a double KO. Fuck you, you little piece of... It's hard to avoid you. Okay, so I don't know what to do against this guy. This pisses me off. Come on. Now I am doing it kind of right. Actually, the knockback just made it harder. Oh shit! Yeah. I did it! I did it! Hmm. That was great. Well, the devil itself was okay. Actually, the one, one boss was missing. I guess it would have been Pharaoh Man, but for some reason, he wasn't there. So, I think this is the end of this. I, I don't want to play any more levels in this video. So, see you later in the next one. I'm gonna play. Uh, another level next time called Red Caverns by Nickel S or Nicholas. Uh, wow, this is this is mostly a Yoko Block uh, based level. And shine and D tanks and whatever. So I ju I'm just reading the description of this level, so that will be the next one. Oh, patience and challenge. Okay, that that sounds fun. I actually I really like his levels. Niklas uh, made really nice gimmick-based levels and nothing unfair, but uh, actually really good ideas. Uh, some of them don't have too many checkpoints, but I think uh, they are still fair challenge. So I really like it. I like this level. So we will see uh, Red Caverns in the next episode. Have a nice day and see you later.